Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, I'm going to go into a deep dive of uh, Axie Infinity. And um, the reason I'm doing that is, is I think there's lots of sort of uh, maybe confusion really um, around how a successful blockchain game would work. And I think with Axie Infinity, we sort of have the first example of um, sort of a fully fledged blockchain game. So by that, I mean a game um, that has uses lots of different aspects of, of, of blockchain technology in order to run its in-game economy. Um, sort of how that works and, and, and because the game is now um, very successful, um, we can start to put some numbers on that. And, and I think that will, uh, particularly people in the non-blockchain game space who've been asking sort of when does scale come, when, when are these companies actually start making money? And um, this will be a good example. Not that every game will do this, but this is the, our sort of our first example really of a game that's really um, using the full potential of, of the blockchain and making money doing that. Uh, so what does it actually mean? Um, so a uh, quick overview, Axie Infinity is a um, is a NFT based game. It also has two uh, tokens, two cryptocurrencies uh, that work in the uh, in the economy of the game. And uh, how the game works is you have uh, you need you have axes, the little game characters, NFTs running on the Ethereum blockchain. And what you do is you can breed those together. Um, you need a currency called the uh, SPL token in order to breed those. And that token is, uh, is, is destroyed when you breed them. So you can breed um, axes together. Um, and you can obviously then create new axes and uh, they have this sort of DNA system. So, so if you breed certain type of axes together, you get certain kind of outcomes. Um, and there's obviously the whole thing about rarity factors and breeding out certain types of, of axes. Now, the reason you want to do that is axes uh, battle each other. So every uh, um, every team of axes, you need three axes. And obviously they all have different sort of um, para parameters and stats and, and, and moves. And you basically can fight these axes against other players. Um, so 3v3. Uh, turn-based uh, battles and the winner gets another token called the um, oh, actually no the winner gets the uh, small love potion sorry should say so a small love potion um, is is the breeding token and also the token that you win for uh, uh, for playing games successfully um, so there's a little economy going there basically you're earning um, this small love potion you can then sell it if you want to or you can use it by breeding more axes you can obviously um, sell axes and buy axes on the axie marketplace so there's a you can use any Ethereum based marketplace, but there is a official sort of in-game marketplace as well, um, which is where most of the activity happens, um, just because it's kind of better integrated into the game. Um, and uh, for any uh, transactions on that marketplace, the um, Axie Infinity uh, kind of game itself gets 4.25% uh, of any transaction value. Um, so that's sort of you know, automatic. Um, there's also another token called the uh, the AXS token, which is what we're looking at here. Um, and that's what we call a governance token. That's a, a token that um, allows people, or will allow people in, in the future to sort of vote on the way the game's going. It also has other mechanics you can use. You can kind of stake it, um, like putting it in, in an interest account and, and, and earn interest. And also can be used for spending in the game and also as a reward mechanic as well. Um, so, so that's kind of roughly how it works. It's obviously much more detailed than that. I'm not gonna go into all that detail. We can see here, just a little, a little diagram here. So. Um, we have uh, the game here, um, the players, the people who are uh, holding the token, the AXS token, and then this thing called a treasury, um, which is basically where the money sort of accumulates. And, and, the money, and the interesting thing about any blockchain game, any good blockchain game, is the money sort of passes around. Um, so people are using it in certain ways, and it gets passed into the treasury, and then that treasury can be used to encourage people to do certain things. So, so um, it has, it's basically the game has created um, a, a financial system using its own tokens and that's been given value by people who care about them and want to buy the axes and want to buy the tokens um, because they can do things in the game and for other reasons as well. So, but what's interesting here in, in this case is um, although there is a company behind Axie Infinity called Sky Mavis based out of Vietnam, they've raised um, you know several million dollars from VC funding. Um, the, the kind of core of Axie Infinity is this community treasury. So um, as I spoke about these marketplace fees and also if you if you breed axes um, as well as using up the small love potion or the, the smooth love potions, they renamed it. You also have to spend some of this AXS token. They're not listed on this document here, but every time you breed an axie, you use up the SPL token, and also you have to spend uh, two AXS tokens. That's roughly about ten dollars at the moment. And that money, when you're breeding, um, goes into this treasury, and all the marketplace fees also go into the treasury. So the treasury is this very interesting kind of idea. That it that um, it's very different to, to, to centralized games. Where obviously in a centralized game, if you do something, if you buy some in-game um, asset or or buy um, 
um, buy some gems or something like that. The money goes to the developer and, and obviously that funds the developer to continue to make the game, uh, maybe make other games or obviously pays their salaries and all that sort of stuff. Um, in this case, um, the money goes into this community treasury, which then reinforces um, can, that money can be used to reinforce the game. It could be used in marketing, hasn't been used at the moment as far as I know. Uh, it could be used you know, in various ways, it could be used um, uh, to kind of buy back tokens and destroy them, so it would kind of raise the value. So, so we have this kind of idea of, of it's sort of like a stock in a way. Uh, if you own the, the AXS token, you sort of are sort of owning a, a, a kind of a, you have an ownership share, but not in the company behind Axie Infinity, but in the game itself. So the game itself has um, kind of agency um, and financial ability. So that's, that's, that's very kind of uh, interesting. And that's why blockchain games for me are, are, are so fascinating. But now we can actually go and see how does, it, how does this actually work and, and, and how and you know, has it been successful? Well, it has. So let's go and see how, how it's been successful. OK, so we're going to have some graphs because because um, I love graphs. Um, and, and this um, is, is a graph. This is not my data. It's data from a, from a uh, kind of fan based Axie website. Um, we're going to have a quick look at that uh, at the end, but it's really good data. And what they've done here is they've, they've, they've uh, for the kind of period of time which this game has been live, so it's, it started in sort of February 2018, um, so uh, you know, I've been going for kind of over three years now, um, and because it's all, ha it's all the activities on the blockchain, you can kind of see the revenue that the game, this is the game, not the developer, this is the revenue that the game has generated. Um, and I've done this in dollars. Um, obviously, the, um, the, 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 the money is being generated in a variety of tokens, um, like ETH and, and AXS tokens. Um, uh, but we can convert that to dollars, which kind of, I think, kind of shows, it's kind of it makes more sense for most of us, I think, who, who don't think in cryptocurrencies. Um, and what we can see here, I've done this on a log scale. So this is goes from 1,000 to 10,000 to 100,000 to a million to 10 million. Um, and we can see here, there's some, you know, three, three big peaks, really. And we have the first peak here. Um, so this is when axes, the, 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 uh, the first set of axes were sold. So these are these little NFT characters, in characters they were minted obviously you can now you can breed them now but you needed to have, mint some in order to start the game off so they, they minted the some axie nfts and, and and sold them so obviously that's what we call a primary sale all the money went to in this case we'll say to the developer because the treasury didn't exist at that point in time but effectively the, the money uh, people came in and bought these axes gave money to the developer um, and then started breeding them and then you see the money sort of fell off a cliff you know in in mid mid uh 2018, there was very little money coming in. This is monthly, so, so a couple of thousand dollars coming in um, monthly. And then we have in 2019, we have the land sale. So again, a primary NFT sale. So uh, Axie Infinity sold land plots. Um, and again, like, like another big spike here, primary sale. Um, and then it sort of drops off again um, as, as not much activity was happening. Um, and that's really the case uh, until mid-2020. And, and what happens here is... Um, the small, small love potion, the sorry, the smooth love potion is actually released at the start of 2020. So this kind of new breeding mechanic up, up to that point, there was a different mechanic for breeding. Um, and then they start talking about the the AXS token, which is launched in um, October 2020. Um, and, and the kind of ideas of the treasury and all this sort of stuff come come into fruition. But what's happening here is we can see this kind of rapid rise is, is this is growth in the game. People start playing the game. Um, you can start to earn. People realize they can start to earn this this S LP token, then they can sell that on, and we start to see you know incredible growth in places like the Philippines and Indonesia and Brazil and other um, kind of developing countries where people are playing this game. You can play it on mobile. The vast majority of people playing Axie Infinity are now playing on mo on Android devices. Um, obviously, the, the the most widely available um, kind of computer, really. And and the daily DAUs now are are over two hundred thousand people playing daily. Um, and and what's happening here on this monthly revenue is obviously um, as discussed the when people start breeding, um, the, the, the treasury is making money. And when people start trading, the treasury is also making money, this 4.25%. So we can see here, you know, not a lot happened for a long period of time. But now the monthly revenue is is uh, is is almost $10 million um, of monthly revenue. Um, so, so that, you know, that is, you know, that is suddenly becoming, you know, proper amounts of money. You know, um, there are lots of particularly free to play mobile games um, that aren't making $10 million a month. An interesting thing here is this is this is um, you know there's no marketing being paid here at all. So I don't know what the profit margin would be, but it would be a very very high profit margin. Um, and what's even more interesting is this money is not going to the developer now. This money is going to the, into the treasury. So um, let's have a quick look at this graph. So here we have a graph. Um, this is a different data set. 
um, from someone at Axie Infinity they put out on Twitter. So this is the rise of the treasury. So this is, as, as I say, this is this is effectively the bank owned by the community, owned by the players who play the game Axie Infinity. This is not owned by the developer. The developer is totally separate. So we can see here, much shorter time frame. Um, this is uh, really from uh, kind of mid mid May into into June. So it's really only sort of five six weeks. Uh, we can see here again. Um, the, the treasury consists of two parts. So there's the ETH, the Ethereum uh, cryptocurrency, and every time people are trading these axes on the marketplace, uh, a share of that comes in. Uh, again, this is in dollars rather than the, the, the just the ETH token, because that doesn't make any sense. Obviously, the other thing to say is there's been a lot of volatility around the ETH price. Um, so the ETH price has been dropping quite rapidly um, during this time, but still the dollar price is going up. And then we also have the AXS token. Um, so this is um, two of these uh, are required every time you breed. So we can kind of see actually the, the majority of the revenue is actually being driven by this breeding token uh, or the governance token that's used for breeding. And again, we can see that the, the kind of it's the same sort of figures, just in a different way. And we can see here this is um, the Treasury now is um, over ten million dollars. Um, sitting in this treasury and, and as I say that, that that's there to be used by the community you know people can put in proposals if they want people to kind of develop new things for the game people can vote on things that's not really started that's not really happened yet I and mean, like a lot of blockchain games this is kind of early but again we can start to see there's a basically a pot of money 10 million dollars sitting there for the community to start to think how to use it obviously the developer might have some ideas as well they they, they might kind of put put uh, kind of kind of have to have some advice um, but this is not this money this is not, money's not owned by the developer this is owned by the community uh, if they wanted to spend a million dollars um, getting, you know, some advertising or, get, or you know, hiring a uh, influencer to do something, they could do. I don't think they will, but but this is very, very, diff very different from what we've seen before. Um, and this is just like I was just messing around with some ideas of run rate. So this is kind of the idea of if Active Infinity was a company um, and, um, you know, what its annualized run rate would be. Again, this is the same data set as we just saw. So so not that many months, sort of May, May June. Uh, we can see here. Then it was uh, again. This is a log scale, so it's kind of because it's very, very high growth. Now we can kind of see here it starts off at a few million dollars a year, and now because we had this high growth, um, as I say, we're taking like sort of monthly figures and analysing them, sort of times them by twelve. Um, it's a bit more complicated than that, but effectively that's what we're doing. And uh, we can see here, you know, current rates. Axie Infinity, the game, <laughs> would be generating about forty million dollars a year. Um, again, you know, that that is kind of pure inflow from the from the game. Um, from the game economy it takes a small percentage of any activity um, and, and it ends up with 40 million dollars sitting in a treasury um, and and uh, you know quite what that'll be used for um, we'll wait and see obviously the whole the whole side of the problem with, with run rates is um, it is you know if you depending on when you take the, the <laughs> make your make your make your um, calculation you know the run rate could kind of peak and go down again and, and all that sort of stuff so, so this is a sort of you have to be a bit careful if you're basically taking you know two months of data and normalizing that over a 12 month period future period kind of predictive um, that that would be <laughs> um, yeah, kind of a yeah, could obviously we're not, not saying this is what it's going to be. It could be more, um, <laughs> equally could be less. But you can kind of start to get an idea that these are not now small amounts of money. This is you know, if you're if you are a game developer and and you're kind of thinking of uh, you know your game is generating forty million dollars of revenue, then you're you know a lot of game developers um, would be pretty happy with that. Okay, and very quickly, I um, just want to show you this is the website I've taken some of the data from. This is axieworld.com. And we can see here, um, you know, because this stuff is happening on, on, on uh, effectively on, on public blockchains. Um, so we can see here, this is the Axie, the AXS price. This is the, the uh, SPL price. We can see what's going on there. This is some of the figures I've been looking at. So we can see here, all, all the way back in time, we can look at the, this is the USD data. If you want to look at it in the ETH data, we can see the volume, the daily volume and the cumulative volume um, over time. Um, uh, and we can all, you know, there's various kind of sort of things you can see. Here's the revenue number. So the revenue number is sort of interesting. You can see here um, that this this orange here is the, is the pre-sale. So there was a pre-sale where they sold the first axes. And then we have this big purple area, pink area here where the, the land was sold. So these were, these were the two primary sales. So this is, the, you know, for a long time, this was the, the majority of the money was basically them selling um, initial items off to, off to people, particularly land, particularly strong. But because obviously with the axes you can breed them and now we see marketplace fees so people trading um, land and axes um, and now these breeding fees um, and if you look at it on the on the usd scale which probably most people would look at you can kind of see you know nothing happens for a long period of time and then and then we suddenly you know it's this enormous kind of kind of kind of a uh, situation um, where cumulative revenue per source uh, we're up to 16 million dollars there so a whole bunch of data here you can go look for all this stuff this is where i got the detailed revenue per month data from um, this is you can see this is the contracts that they're tracking um, so various different sort of uh, uh,
blockchain smart contracts at the moment all the activity is happening on Ronin which is the Axie Infinity um, L2 solution so they, they've kind of created their own blockchain um, to run this sort of stuff much quicker than um, on Ethereum so um, yeah just to sort of an overview um, it's, yeah, Axie Infinity is an incredible game to, to delve into it's really showing um, where blockchain game is going I sort of call it full stack blockchain gaming because it's not just using NFTs it's using two cryptocurrencies it's, it's feeding it all into a treasury and, and in, what generally happens if you can get those things correct then you start having a flywheel so one one starts if one's successful then it motivates if say if actually actually is, a, is an nft successful then that encourages people to breed more then that's using those tokens and then that kind of encourages people to use the other tokens that encourage people to play axie to breed more blah, 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 and you get the flywheel effect so it's definitely happening for, for axie and what's really fascinating about it is um is that there is this treasury um uh, and, and that's what's accumulating the value um and, and yeah potentially you know is that a problem it could be um, you know, can have, if you suddenly have $100 million sitting there and, and no one's quite sure who's in charge of it and how it's going to be used, then, then um, you know, that, that's, uh, we've, we've not had those situations before. But that, this is why blockchain is, is super interesting. It's not that everything's going to be successful in this case. Thankfully, actually, is a big success and hope, hope it continues. But, but we're starting to see how, how this new gaming situation, this new gaming economy is, is, is coming up with, with new things that we couldn't do. You know, EA would not make a game where, where the community owned a treasury of, a, of $10 million <laughs> and could decide what to do with it. That would make no sense at all but blockchain things are very very different so anyway thanks for watching the video it's blockchain gaming world where we spend our time dipping into all this sort of stuff um and and, and trying to kind of uh, you know educate and, and and understand it um so please subscribe to the channel but thanks for watching and see you soon.